First and 15. Harris gets out of that trouble and puts himself in some more. Picked off by Dakota Dixon. And flags go flying. And players come together now. You just, you just got to be smart with the football. It gets away from Beagle. And I, I don't... I can't tell you where he's throwing that ball. It's almost like in the in the backfield he gets impulsive. He gets away from one guy and he's like, I got an impulse, I gotta get rid of this football, and I'm just gonna throw it. I don't know where it's going. A nice job of open field tackling to force the first punt by Ole Miss. And that one's nearly blocked. We got a flag on the play. They went into the punter. Roderick Proctor won't have a chance for a return. Will Gleason, the Ole Miss punter, face pressure. This may be an automatic first down here for Ole Miss. Look here, and this has been a game riddled with mistakes by Memphis. And the yeah, ball's clearly gone. You run into the punter, or rough the punter. And that wasn't just, uh, oh, you clipped his heel. I mean, that was as roughing as you can get. They drilled him. be a penalty oh, right there. Wow. More than might. Oh my heavens. Michael Fanning, LaMichael Fanning is going to get flagged for this play. Yeah, and you know, opportunity to play. Oh, oh man. Personal Very foul. dangerous. Absolutely. Uh, that that 15 I yard bet penalty first that time. will be a I could be a suspension. I think so and I yes. think it's, it should be a suspension. <laughs> Myrick is sent out the back of the end zone. Oh boy, Julius just got drilled. He got into it earlier in the game with Jalen Waters, so there was a prequel to what happened later. Yeah, they've been battling all game. That's forced for life conduct. Defense number 35. It's a flagrant foul. It's disqualified. I would expect to see Perry Hills. Is underway. The kickoff by Julius is going to go out of bounds. Maryland will have good field position to start down 10. And now a flag at the end as Julius gets pounded at the end of the play for no reason. That's their secret weapon on kickoffs. Wow. There he is just jogging along. And he does the Julius flop. That's kind of a floppage right there. But what is Isaiah Davis doing? Yeah, that's not smart. But Joey Julius, you know, he just, he's got a little reputation going out there. So now he's not, he's not doing anything. So he's not. Two fouls on the play. This should be called. Kick out of bounds by the kicking team. After the play was over, flagrant person at five. Kick receiving team number 22. By rule, number 22 is disqualified. That will be half the distance. Well, a three and out. Reading will punt it away. It's a good high kick. Fair catch called for. And a huge hit. Multiple flags come in. And Wade's popping up and down like he did something impressive. And what he did there was hammer a defenseless punt returner. And Wade needs to leave the field. I think that was a unacceptable play by Wade to jump up and down like he did something impressive. And the returner never even had a chance to catch it. I mean, this is a running start. This is wide punt return. Oh, tough. Oh, Takes a special player to stand back there and field punts. Bonifant feels the pressure, goes down the far sideline to Parker. Just couldn't quite catch up to it as Bonifant took some big time pressure. A flag has been thrown. Roughing the passer with targeting. Number five on the defense. That's 15 yards, previous spot. Automatic first down. Previous play is under further review. Roughing the passer on Niles Morgan. Inexcusable act. Oh. Timing wise, it was close. Timing wise, he was getting there in time, but it was helmet to helmet. He stayed high. Drew Twank, Tranquil at safety, sat flat footed. They had a safety over the top, and Parker just it's ran Morgan. by him. A vicious, right in the face mask of Bonifon. No doubt about it. No doubt. 
After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Number five is disqualified for the remainder of the game. So that is it for Niles Morgan on an already depleted Notre Dame defense. And they brings Morgan the back turner up. to his right. Fakes inside. Backside slant. Brian Edwards can't come up with it. He's struck right in the face. That's going to be a targeting penalty as the Gamecocks go over and push the Commodores off of him. Edwards took it right in the chin as the ball was bouncing around off the slant route. Again, a little too high for Edwards, who could not hold on. And the safety, Zaire Jones, is going to have the targeting penalty as Edwards barely makes it off. Personal foul, targeting. Defense, number six, 15-yard penalty to the end of the run. First down. The previous play is under further review. Jones with the penalty. He'll review it. But that looked pretty clear, Tommy. He had a defenseless player, and Jones goes right at the headgear or above. And that's lucky that Brian Edwards could even get up, much less be a little woozy walking towards it as that bent him back, not only in the face, but that bent back his legs as the other defender was at his hip as well. Yeah, I agree with you. That was um, uncalled for, regardless if it's one, if it's targeting penalty or not. That was a pretty cheap shot that time. But, you know, that's... After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Number six is disqualified. Get to finish. It's a high snap, running around and stumbling at the 30-yard line. Oh, my goodness, a special team disaster by Ron Paluzzi. And Michigan, as if they need it, will get tremendous field position. That was just botched from the start. Yeah, but, but if, if he keeps his feet there, you wonder if he has a chance to, to make this. The entire Michigan, look at this. this they're, in, they're gone. They're out of the play. And if he doesn't stumble there, it's a foot race to get to the marker. Wow. That's going to be a tough one to live down in tape study because you're right. Everybody was faked down. The oh, turf monster got him. Yeah, he got the best of him. Now, chances are it's an outside linebacker, Devin Bush, who's got great speed, maybe catches him, but it would have been a foot race to that first, first down meeting. Wow. Yep, there's wow. no doubt about it. That's defenseless, and that's helmet, helmet to helmet. helmet. Matt Merrimi is the injured Miami player who takes the hit. Merrimi looked like he was losing control of his body as he was going to try to make the tackle on King. But you're right, Josie Jewell, he's the jewel of that defense in the middle. And that could be devastating for Phil, Phil Parker's defense. That is a double whammy. The long return comes back, and you lose your captain and leader on the defense. Second team all Big Ten a year ago. And Eamon, with so much emphasis being on targeting and helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact, you really have to shorten that strike zone. Whether you're playing defense or on special teams, you have to be able to reduce the area and be cognizant of where you're hitting someone. Fans certainly aren't happy with the call, but it was pretty obvious that it was a defenseless player. So his afternoon is over. Nobody bigger than 5'11", 200 pounds. The solar throws it over the middle. Caught by Jason Williams and a flank comes down late. Late hit. I think it's going to be a late hit on the Bronco. Yeah, it was a late hit. The Soli got right back up, but he took a huge shot. Loving the pass on Boise 18. State. Penalty will be enforced from the end of the play, 15 yards, first down. I think that was on Ellen Powers for safety. Boise State likes to bring the safeties on a lot of blitzes. And you see to the right of your screen, he comes in there, the ball's gone, the ball's way gone. That, you know what? That's an ejection. Yes. That's, that's an absolute ejection. The fans see it on the board, and uh, 